Hello everyone and welcome back to Void Space Alpha. My name is Ollie and today we're continuing with our playthrough of Rome 2 Total War where we are finally putting the uh, the final nails in the coffin to the secessionists that have broken away. If anybody understands remotely anything about the politics of this game, please comment down below because I understand nothing. Massive thank you to the 11,000 subscribers that we have on the channel so far and I'm going to go ahead and fight this battle on the battle map as I promised in the last episode. So let's crack on with that. Whilst I always say... Thank you, uh, not always, also say thank you to everyone that has taken the time to leave a comment or interact with the channel in any way. 11,000 subscribers in two and a half months has been pretty awesome, so I genuinely thank you from the bottom of my heart. That is really, really cool. Um, I hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, please do leave a comment down below. It does absolute wonders for the algorithm. Rome 2 Total War is the series that gets the most views um, next to StarCraft, so... Yeah, I hope that um, I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Right, we have um, what is effectively a full legion here, um, an Evocati cohort. I want to have a look at these guys. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, they are very armoured. I'm I'm a big fan. Right, okay. So what do we have? We have some Equites and some auxiliary Celtic cavalry. They are going on a harassment mission. I don't care what you say. Evocati cohorts. They can kind of hold here with a couple of missile units backing them up. We also have a bit of a bridgehead here to hold. And let's get a couple of missile units to back them up as well. Um, the mob, mm, I don't really know where to place you because, I mean, you, you just go there. There you go, you're out of the way. Um, our general is going to be floating around. Um, so what we're on four units so far let's go up to six and block off this area here with a couple of units is that yeah they're already placed so it's actually these here like so and i mean that is kind of it right so we've got two four six uh so two four six so let's get two more over there. Let's get two more over here. Let's get two in reserve here and two in reserve here with our Viglites. I was going to call them Riorii, but they're not. They are Viglites. Um, you can kind of just be like a floating reserve back here by the temple. Um, we're going to put these guys into control group one and they're immediately going to span out into the side of the battlefield hopefully what i'm hoping is that we can defend this quite well and it looks like everyone here has the attacking testudo so that's not going to be super useful then general is running out which is nice we could potentially win the ranged game here and yeah they don't actually have the amount of ranged troops that i would have liked for them to have their general is spotting some of our army that's fine they're going to take some casualties here. One would hope. Oh, God, if I could take their general out immediately, that would be fan flipping tastic. Let's get these guys up and in to support that line. I want to surround these guys. He's already dead. That is brilliant. Who said hard difficulty was hard? The enemy general is gone. And it looks like they have more ranged over this side. So I'm going to bring my cavalry round. Uh, yeah, they just got absolutely destroyed. I have no idea why a hard AI, hard battle AI on a hard campaign would charge their general in first. They are breaking off some of their legionaries to charge some of our horse. They might get into peeler range, which is worrying. Um, but that's okay. Because you can waste your time chasing after cavalry. That's absolutely fine by me. Right, okay, so now I can bring the reserves around. There we go. If they're just going to pipe themselves down into that line, then yet yeah, we're absolutely going to come and meet you. These two guys in reserve, they can come back up there. And you guys can come over to here. There we go. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to bottleneck them quite hard. 
Right. Their legionaries are in, so I'm going to charge two distinct units here. There we go. Looks like they are going to break in and attempt to attack our flanking line here. That is fine. The only thing I'm going to do in response there is to put my skirmish units into skirmish mode. Uh, mob is doing nothing. Vigliers, or whatever they're called, you're going to head down here to support this flank. Because, if I'm really honest, it looks like this flank is going to get absolutely ruined. Get the Velites in over there. Yeah, this is going as well as I could have uh, hoped for, considering the auto-resolve told us that it was going to go very badly indeed. There we are. One of our units has used all of its ammunition already. And I'm going to bring these guys down here to deal with that. Right, you guys get involved there. Equites get stuck into there. You guys get in the rear of these guys. Healer going in. I can see it from a distance. These guys are coming around to flank over here. That is fantastic. Their ranged units are breaking off. They have no cavalry to speak of. I have no idea why they charge their starting cavalry from their general's bodyguard into a wall of legionaries. But, you know, mine is not to ask questions. Mine is just to do and die. Yeah, this is going to be a win here very comfortably. Yeah, it looks like these guys have used all of their missiles. They're going to go and get stuck in as well. Yeah. Let's get you guys stuck in there. We'll bring our Velites down. Right. Cavalry, you can get around the back. And that battle's over, so I'm going to bring my general around here to support these guys from a morale standpoint. There we go. Let's move those guys. Right, looks like those legionaries are going to go down. These guys are not having a great time. But they were already quite wounded prior. So let's pull them out actually. Just so we can retain the unit. For the next battle. You guys can chase my cavalry if you like. Where is the general? Oh god. What, why would you go around that way? I mean you can come and stand here if you like. Yeah. You guys get stuck in there. You guys get stuck in there. Get the ranged troops there. And all of the melee troops can just go and get stuck in. Why not? There we go. That's going to be actually plenty to deal with that. So let's do that. And yeah, let's get the cavalry into those guys. It is going rather swimmingly, if I do say so myself. Let's get more Velites down here. Yeah, perfect envelopment. Equites go in. Auxiliary Celtic Cavalry go in. Yeah, these guys are completely surrounded. We're going to destroy an entire legion here. I think the best chance we've got now is to just move everyone in. Absolutely everyone. Even get the mob involved. Yeah, they're going to go down. Um... I'm going to take my missile infantry. You're all going to charge in into melee combat. Let's see if we can't do that as well. Just to reduce the effects of friendly fire. Yeah, they're wavering. I don't know if we're going to let them flee. If that's a thing we want to do. I think we want to, even when we get the win, we want to chase down as many units as humanly possible, which is not going to be difficult because they are hemmed in. They ain't getting through. Some of them are breaking out, actually, to be said. Let's get these legionaries. Come on, it's just a waiting game now. Yeah, this unit of legionaries is wavering. This unit's wavering. None of them seem to be taking the full brunt of the, uh, of the assault. They're not losing numbers in huge quantities as I would expect in a brawl of that caliber but um, they are definitely on the losing team here yeah there we go 129 
Starting to waver. 123, starting to waver. Come on, everyone. Get stuck in. I want to see where the mob is. Some of the mob guys are just... Uh, yeah, I mean, they're in there. They're doing stuff. They're just waiting their turn, I think. The men are wavering. Oh, we're starting to get wavering of our own. Let's pause. Where's my general? You can inspire. Right, victory. A decisive victory. We lost 895 troops to their 2,728 of the 2,880 that they deployed. Um, every single legionary unit is destroyed with also the vast majority, well, their general, obviously. They've got four very depleted units of, um, of missile troops left. So I would say that is a success. Athens obviously fell last episode. That's good. We need to send a force to retake Tyros. Um, that's okay. And we're still working our way through North Africa. There's been a sabotage in Patavium. Um, doesn't seem to have caused any real problem. Uh, was that right? Sabotage? Um, yeah, target Patavium. Oh my god, I can't speak. Patavium. Uh, Reconnoiter. Okay, so they were just wrecking the area. Cyprus did take Antioch. Yeah, that's not ideal, but it's okay. Dealing with the secessionists is a bigger threat at the moment for me. And there we can wipe out that force, especially if we use the aggressive. We're going to kill the captives. I don't want any disloyal captives in my empire moving forwards. Um, right, let's go with 5% attack range, let's go with 2% morale for all units, and 5% melee skill for all sword armed units, because these guys are getting retrained. There we are. Um, Equites can get retrained as well, they become legionary cavalry. Lovely. Uh, yeah, we should upgrade you as well, why not? Right, the problem I have is Hatra was never the recruitment centre for this province, that was Seleucia. And Seleucia has a garrison of 8 units. Now we have a full legion of 20. So with the chances are we can probably move into there after the fact. I have a fleet here which was getting itself ready to attack Hypertania. Going to get another 3 units recruited into that fleet. And I think we're going to go for Trireme levies. That's going to be all of our cash. And we're going to move the... 13th legion out of Athens into Sparta and we are going to just walk straight in there crushing the garrison I'm not going to make you watch that because that is quite an easy fight more military traditions and an increase in rank so we can crack on with that their tradition is going to be 3% for every weapon and we will go for um, what we go for 5% armor for all units that sounds very good Let's crack on with the two authority when general. Now, if we look at our diplomatic status, the secessionists are actually down to four provinces, right? One, two, three, four. That's actually going to be three because Sicily we can take now, or retake, I should say, bring them back into the Republican fold. Uh, I don't want to raise the settlement, I want to occupy it, reoccupy it, that is. And I have two armies that are now poised to uh, help the North African front. Now, I did move the 11th Legion here um, down to support Carthage. I'm going to retrain as many of these units as I can, um, just so that I can have the best possible chance of success at supporting Carthage. Now, Carthage does have a garrison of 14 um, land units and three naval units on its own. So this should be quite the battle. Again, I'm not going to make you watch this one because it is such a whitewash, um, although I would love to use my Numidian cavalry on camera. It's uh, unfortunately not going to be necessary today. I'm going to continue to kill all of those people. We're going to get an increase in military traditions, which I'm going to go for the weapon damage, obviously. And yeah, we can now bring this legion around here which is perfect. Um, and yeah, we were recruiting up here as well. We got 19 units and I was retraining as many of them as I can because there's a holdout legion up here with 18 units. They are in a fortified position. 
and I have no ranged units to speak of in this Legion whatsoever, actually. So I'm going to continue to hold out there. Um, now, North Africa, we've got Carthaginian rebels. They do need to be destroyed. Um, let's continue to chase those down. Now, the Carthaginians were destroyed a long time ago, primarily by the Romans, but then we ended up suing for peace and they got picked apart by the various North African states, which we are now just mopping up. Um, we have Numidians and the Trudetani here. Now, the legion that was up here, the 11th, was originally stationed down here, and their plan was to walk down into the Midi. Now, what I think is actually going to happen is this legion is going to walk down into the Midi, and this legion is going to come and sort of retake the front, and we'll end up with a front line sort of over here somewhere. So I think that's good for this turn. We've retaken Sparta. We have re uh, lifted the siege on Seleucia. We've reunited this area here and one uh, pushed out from the siege of, what was it, Hatra? I believe it was, yeah, Hatra there. So quite a productive turn. We will have a full fleet to hopefully push an invasion of Hypertania next turn. Um, and yeah, I've probably got some edicts that I can push out as well. Now, Magna Grecia, I think, is one of my more prosperous settlements. Uh, although saying that, Provincia has got the has already got an edict. So I think uh, Africa, you probably want the tax harvesting, 17%. There we go. That's probably the best thing we can invest in at the moment. So yeah, I'd say it's all looking good, but my biggest... I mean, Kush wants a non-aggression back, so I'm going to decline that. Our biggest struggle at the moment is not knowing how to manage the politics, because I've had like four or five secessions in the, the span of this campaign so far, which is it's quite a lot. Um, that's been reconnoitred once again. Now, I did just see another legion moving around. It is this legion here, 18 units, potentially going to attack Alexandria. Now, if that does happen, that would obviously be quite problematic. Now, what I could do is bring my navy down to here, and in fact, I could force them to double time and garrison them in Alexandria, which makes Alexandria less of a target. I don't believe they're going to have the movement to get to uh, past Alexandria. So that is that. Let's continue moving Legion 5 to Seleucia. They haven't had the time to build up a decent enough force there. So again, we're just going to retake that. That is a major town that we can take off of the secessionists for very cheap. Um, they have converted one of the buildings, which is weird. Let's, let's swap that back to a manipular barracks. Um, I am going to give you 2% morale for everyone, I think, and the general trait. Uh, and then over in this direction, I am going to try and chase down this legion here, which will have nowhere to go. Isle does have a small garrison, so it's worth the risk to come down into the midi. And yeah, these guys sided with the secessionists for Rome, so they are going to get completely destroyed, and we will take that there. Another increase in rank, um, of course, we are going to use it to get the general trait, and we are going to use the 5% melee skill for all sword-armed infantry. Now, Demidi does have some buildings that need converting, but to be completely honest, we're a bit low on cash. I would rather use that cash to retrain all of these soldiers here and potentially upgrade our general, uh, yeah, who becomes legionary cavalry now. And yeah, that will give us a decent chance of winning against these fortified Romans here, which I believe I'm going to attack shortly. I just want to have a look to see if there's anything else I can do to affect the destruction of these secessionists in quicker order. Tyros and Antioch need to go. So I think I'm going to take the... Um, the 13th Legion Seaborn, and I'm going to get them to go and land over at Crete. And do you know what? I might even double time them. I know it's a little bit of movement that turn, but it's actually a lot more over the subsequent turns. And yeah, let's bring in another Legion over the sea into Carthage. And actually, this Legion, you can start making your way back up to Medellan. And we will see where that goes. That's been done. So we did have one battle to play. Where was it? Oh, yes, it was up here. And it's our infantry-only army against the Senate secessionists. It says it's going to be an absolute whitewash. 
I don't know if I agree with that because it says we're going to lose about 20% of our force. I'm more inclined to fight this one on the battlefield. So let's uh, let's do that. This is Legion 6 Alpania of the Senate Secessionists against Legion 2 of Rome. We just have legionary cohorts of varying descriptions. Um, that being said, our legionary cohorts are better quality than theirs. I'm not just saying that, but they have Hastati, and um, I think that's kind of it, whereas we have actual legionary cohorts. So yeah, there's no need to piss around with our deployment, because it just kind of is what it is. We've got a nice little manipula set up there, and uh, it's going to be a case of, can we push our forces into their areas as quickly as we can and destroy them and you know they've got three entrances one two three so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to try and get some forces on sort of each of those sides obviously assassinating their general is going to be a main concern but i don't think they're going to get the use of their cavalry if they keep them inside that wall now i'm going to take these four units and they are going to set up over here and I'm going to take four units off this flank, and they are going to set up uh, over here, and then obviously round the other side. I've got all the time in the world for this siege, so I don't mind putting it on speed three. Absolutely no problem to me. Uh, you guys can... Uh, where's that? You can move up to here. General, you can move up to here. There we go. Right, yeah, Hastati, Hastati, Auxiliary Cav. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying because this used to be one of my legions. So, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to move these guys up to here. Go on, I dare you. I dare you to bring your units out. I would love that. Let's, we can get a, bit, a little bit closer with these guys. A little bit closer still before we start getting shot at. These guys are going to start wheeling around. Come on. Off you go. Get a run on. I don't mind if you get winded. We have got all the time in the world. There we go. Oh, that is the wrong direction. No, there's no point getting shot at. Don't get shot at. Leave the attack zone. There we go. Right. We'll just give them a moment to go down from tired to, you know, at least fresh. Which everyone should be at the moment. Yeah, tired, tired, tired. I think one of them just literally just dropped down from very tired. Yeah, we'll give them a moment. So yeah, my plan is first main push into here. That'll draw most of the units out. And then secondary and tertiary pushes in on the other directions. Yeah, they drop down to active now, which is good. Right, I'm going to pause <clears throat> because I think... I think the first three units going in are going to be these three cohorts, and they're going to charge into that Hastati there. I think that is probably a good shout. We'll move those two up. We'll move those two up. And we will see how that goes. We're going to put on speed one now. Yeah, these guys will be the last guys getting ordered in. I think we can send two there and two there. And what I'm hoping, really, bring these guys up as well. Uh, really what I'm hoping is that I cause enough chaos and just cut down enough troops that they start start binning it. Now, actually on the battlefield, the auto-resolve was I'm going to take 20% casualties. On the battlefield, and that's kind of the reason I hit the, the resolve on the battlefield, I think it's actually going to be a lot higher. They're in a defensive position. They have ranged units. Um, yeah, their cavalry is not going to achieve much, I wouldn't have thought. But... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those, isn't it, right? You know, their, their towers might inflict 20% damage if I don't manage to break through. So, yeah, it's one of those. Most of their infantry seems to be hemmed in around the front, and that's fine, because I'm just going to move in more units to support. And we can hit the sides here, like so. doesn't matter who they engage with when they get in. It just matters that they engage. Did I select both of those there? No, I didn't. Here we go, the Auxiliary Celts. Get you guys in. 
you can go for the general. Right, can I create another hole in the fence? I probably can, and I can bring my general up for support. There we are. Right, healers should go out. Should it not? I don't know. Yeah, it's going to go out. Lovely. Lovely. Good job. More peeler going out. Our general is being targeted by the towers. So that is not going to be good. Hopefully my units can cause a bit of damage to that wall and maybe fight through another breakthrough. I can pull off these melee troops. I don't know why I just call them melee troops. Legionaries. And I could potentially just engage these velites here. Or even capture this tower. Yeah, that tower is going to get contested very quickly. And yeah, we're pushing through the back line. Exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we wanted. Yeah, we're causing mass routes. Let's get these velites dealt with. This cohort has taken a bit of a battering. We'll get the peeler out. You guys can get stuck in, and in fact, we can swap you round and pull them into there. Excuse me, got a bit of a frog in my throat. Right, we've got three cohorts here, not really doing much, and we've got two here, not really doing much. There we go. Right, these walls are breached. Can I get you through? There we go. You're still busy capturing this tower. That tower's just gone neutral. This tower is still problematic. Come on, there we go. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get everybody after those Velites. Let's get these guys stuck in there. These guys stuck in there as well. Hopefully we get a cool peeler throw. Yeah, we do. Lovely, lovely. And that is the third tower that's going to get neutralised. That tower's been captured completely. Okay, so they have taken some cavalry outside of the wall. That is fine. I don't think they're actually going to come after my general. Right, one tower captured, two towers neutralised. One still held by the enemy. So let's get over there and deal with that. In fact, let's get everyone else to charge them. But whoever's at the back can do the, the tower duty. Yeah, this Hastati over here is broken. It looks like a lot of their troops did kind of push out of the main gap, which is is probably better than I expected them to do. Um, but I don't think we've lost a unit so far. So that has gone well. I wonder if we have lost more or less than 19... Uh, sorry, the, the 20 sort of percent enemies that they predicted we would lose. Yeah, they're not recapturing any towers with their horses, which is strange. Um, but we will recapture, we'll capture this tower, not a problem. Right, you lot at the front, I need you all to push in on the general. You lot at the back, push in on the general. There you go. This is my general, it is a unit of 40 horses, and they're going to charge this auxiliary Celtic light cav. Yeah, that tower is going to get captured. And these secessionists are fleeing for their lives, I'm not even that arsed about chasing them down. Let's just smash as many of them as we can. In fact, if we do hit the general, there's a pretty decent chance that um, the rest of their army will rout very quickly. Our general has not lost a man. They are down to nine, nine men on their auxiliary Celtic Cav. We've captured another tower, which means these guys can now get stuck in. Yeah, that Hastati in there is having a bad time. They are not just tired, but they are also shaken. Uh, yeah, they are hemmed in like sardines. Look at them. Yeah, that is a beautiful, beautiful sight. And our general has completely destroyed a unit. And you know what? Now that is the case. Well, yeah, everything's routed, so perfect. Attack an encampment and win without losing more than 15% of your enemies. I've just got an achievement for that. So that's, uh, yeah, I'd say that's gone well. Yeah, we lost 370. So it actually was much better. On the, um, on the fighting on the battle map than on the auto resolve. So I might do that more often. I didn't even see. I just saw on their unit card that they had some mercenary, I think, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, Celtic warriors. I didn't even see them on the battlefield. Uh, I'm going to kill all of their captives, every single one of them. Then I'm going to run down the rest of their forces. Absolutely going to crush them. Yeah, that is what treachery 
against the Senate gets you. A gladius right in the grid. Perfect. Right. I oh, know they're not going to make it this turn, but I do want them to go back to that town and be stationed there because we are still at war with some of the um, the areas that have Spanish holdings, which is, you know, they're not a million miles away from the front, basically. Uh, right. These guys are moving over here. That is completely fine. Uh, what else do we have? We, we basically just have this large rebel secessionist army here. And we have Hyper Tanya. I think I've pronounced that differently like six or seven times. Uh, if we look at the diplomatic map mode, we are still at war with the True Titani. We are still at war with the Numidians. That is fine. We've got two settlements left for the secessionists to have taken from them. So that is going to be the focus of our efforts, and we'll continue moving through North Africa. And we've got something in Cyprus that needs picking off, but to be completely honest, the, the Garrison Legion in Seleucia, uh, in fact, we could probably start the process of marching them over, and actually the forces in Tyros are more sort of pressing than, than uh, anywhere else. Right, I'm just going to look at the public order here. Um, yeah, so they're suffering negative public order penalties because of conquest, but that is fine. So look, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I was going to say, I hope you've enjoyed me. That's not about me. I hope you've enjoyed watching me play as much as I have enjoyed playing. Um, a quick reminder, there is a link down below in this video and every video for that matter for a Discord server. There is no payment wall. You don't have to be a Patreon or a YouTube member or any of that nonsense. It's just gamers hanging out. So please do have a look below and come and join the conversation, hang out with other gamers, play some games with us. That would be awesome. Yes, there's, uh, I think there's just under 100 people on there now. So, uh, yeah, it's getting quite busy on there. Thanks again to the 11,000 people that have subscribed to the channel. That is truly awesome. And thanks so much more um, to all of the people that take the time to interact with the channel in some way, whether that is a comment or a like or or just in engaging with the conversation, because that is genuinely really cool for me personally. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you. That is the end of this one for today, but I will see you in the next episode.